Wake up, you scurry mutt! Wondering where you are? Well, you shouldn't be surprised. After all, you were the one that stowed away in my ship. Yes, now I see. The member is coming back to you. You were found by my crew, below deck, just barely alive, starving, thirsty. Did you look down in front of ye? Yes. Food and drink are plenty. Well, go on, have some. I might be the wolf of the sea, but that does not mean that I am cruel. I always have my prisoners eat before I send them to the brig below deck. Or worse, Davy Jones's locker. What makes my decision? How big of an excuse and how good of an excuse the prisoners give me for why they are here. And I should let you know, I always can tell when people are lying. How do you think I got my torn ear? Someone lied to me and we got into a battle. They unfortunately had the luck of clipping the tip of my ear. But it healed. And now I look at you, sitting across from me with food and drinks right in front of you and I wonder what has brought you here now answer me a simple stowaway please I've seen a better lie out of a grain of sand why are you here Tell me one more lie, and I will have my crew throw ye off the side of the ship. I will not ask again. Why are you here on my boat? Hmm. Looking for... Did you say Captain Jack Sparrow? Of course you did. Of course you'd be looking for him. As am I. That man owes me. He is actually the one that tore off my ear. Very well. I will strike a deal with you. If I let you stay on this ship until we reach Captain Jack Sparrow, I will not kill you. And in exchange, you will be my captain boy. You will run errands whenever we reach land and we need supplies. And you will also be in charge of cleaning the entire ship, as well as the crew's quarters and my quarters. And even your own quarters. Yes, you get your own room on the ship. It'd be a jail cell right below deck. But don't worry, we will keep the door open and... If it does close, we will keep it unlocked, and the key nearby in case it does. But if you are looking for Sparrow, just know this. I get the first crack at a sword fight with him. I will rip off any part of his body so he can feel the pain that I felt when I lost part of my ear. Now, since you are my cabin boy, go now. Go swap the deck, or better yet, get one of the other crew members to do it. Just leave me be. <sighs> yes, you can finish the run. Just go. Done with your chores for the day. Good. Why am I like this? Why am I so bitter? Ha. Hmm. I am not bitter. I am actually quite kind. 
I let you live, didn't I? Of course. Why do I have a beef with Sparrow? I told you earlier today. He tore off my ear after telling me a lie. What lie? That is none of your concern. When we find Captain Jack Sparrow, I will go first in combat with him. If I happen to lose, I do want you to know one thing. You are actually the person on this ship I trust more than even my closest friend. Why am I telling you this? Well, I will tell you, but just know that if you tell anyone, I will cut off your head and then feed you to the fishes and sharks and whatever dangerous creatures are in the ocean below. Do I make myself clear? Good. I trust you more than any of my crew members because these crew members all were once loyal to Jack. And to, I believe, someone going by the name of Captain Barbosa. Whatever the bloody hell that name is. Hmm. The reason I trust you more as well is because, if I am quite honest, I do find you slightly attractive. Get your hands off me, you scum! Remember, I am captain of this ship, and what I say goes. And if I should have it, I will call up three of my crew members and throw you up out the window and into the water below. Do not touch me ever again. Unless you have permission. <clears throat> now then, do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Why do I find you attractive? <laughs> I guess that question was inevitable. Now, wasn't it? Right. I find you attractive because I do not know. I just do. Normally, if you were a prisoner of my ship, I would have killed you right now. But I didn't. I instead let you up into my cabin. I let you eat my food, drink my rum, and I even let you be a member of my crew until we find Jack Sparrow. And now I am telling you that I trust you more than anyone else, even though I have just met you. It is strange how things work in the world. I guess this should be a form of parlay. <sighs> yes, my mind is troubled. I do not know if we will find Jack Sparrow, or if I can trust my crew members to be loyal to me or to Jack Sparrow when we get there. Yes, I do know where we're going. Jack Sparrow always sails the seas of the Caribbean, and that's just where we are going. I need to know one thing before I send you off. Can I trust you to stay by my side 